How y'all doing, good people? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If you're stopping by the channel for the first time, please consider subscribing to my channel. And while you're at it, smash that like button. I really would appreciate it. Also, hit that post notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. Be careful down in the comment section of the videos. A lot of spam, a lot of scammers. I will never ask you to contact me by WhatsApp or Telegram. I also do not invest money for my subscribers, so please be careful. Don't get yourself scammed. Get down to that description box, guys, and click on that Instagram link. Give me a follow on Instagram. We're trying to build up the Instagram page. And um, why don't some of you guys come over there and support us? We're going to be doing a lot of really nice things over there, a lot of lifestyle stuff mixed in with building wealth stuff. Y'all know how I get down, right? So if you want to follow me and rock with me on the Instagram page, get down to the description box and click on that Instagram link. It's Richard Fame Millionaire Mentor. So I look forward to you guys sending me a DM and saying hello and letting me know you're rocking with me because you know I rock with you. So do me a big favor. Like I said, get down to the description box. Click on that Instagram link. Follow me on Instagram. Promise you there will be a lot of good stuff over there uh, to help you get to your wealth, to inspire you, to, to motivate you, right? Again, it would be a pleasure to have you on the team. So get down to the description box, click on that Instagram link, give me a follow, send me a DM, let me know you're rocking with me, and to say hello. All right? Appreciate that. If... If, if you want seven free stocks, my recommendation, guys, is to go down to the description box and click on that Moomoo link. There's a Moomoo link. The very first link in the description box is going to give you seven fractional shares of the Magnificent Seven. How in the world can you turn down the Magnificent Seven? For those of y'all don't know who the Magnificent Seven is, it's only seven of the top 15 companies in the world. That's in the Magnificent Seven. Apple, Microsoft, Meta, Amazon, Alphabet, Tesla, NVIDIA. How are you going to turn that down when you're going to get them for free? <laughs> Who turns down the Magnificent Seven when someone's giving them to you for free? There is no other brokerage app in the game that's giving you fractional shares of the Magnificent Seven for free. You're talking about Amazon. You're talking about Alphabet. You're talking about Microsoft, Apple, Meta, NVIDIA, and Tesla. You're getting it for free. For doing what? Clicking on that Moomoo link, signing up for Moomoo, putting $100 in your new brokerage account, and boom, Moomoo's gonna give you fractional shares of the Magnificent Seven. Then what do I do, Richard? You keep putting money in the brokerage account, you keep buying the Magnificent Seven fractional shares because you can buy fractional shares or whole shares. And you just do that for 10 years. Do it for 10 years. Look at the Magnificent Seven, what they've done over the last 10 years, guys. If you don't believe me, go out on the one trillion dollar research lab and just type in 10 year rate of return on the Magnificent Seven. Just type that into the one trillion dollar research lab. 10 year rate of return on the Magnificent Seven. I can tell you right now in 2023, it was over 100 percent. So why would you turn down free shares of the Magnificent Seven. Why would you turn down fractional shares of the Magnificent Seven? And then all you got to do is just continue to put money in your brokerage account every single month and keep buying fractional shares and just do that for 10 years. I'm just telling you, if you, if you want game and you want to know how to build wealth, I just gave it to you. That's all you got to do. You ain't got to do nothing else other than buy the Magnificent Seven, fractional shares, for the next 10 years. And your net worth, in my opinion, will be more in 10 years than it is right now. 
That's the game plan. That's the blueprint. See, this thing ain't that hard, guys. We make it hard, but it ain't. Building wealth ain't hard. Mm -mm. Building wealth is not hard. The hard part is disciplining yourself. The hard part is being consistent. The hard part is being patient. Those are the things that keep people from building wealth. Not that they don't have no money to invest. Those three things. It's not lack of money that keep people from getting the wealth. It's those three things. Because we have none of it. We don't have those three things. We want everything now, instant. We got no patience. We got no consistency. And we got no discipline. We just want it all today. That's, what, that, that, that's the culture we live in. But part of this channel is called the millionaire mindset. That's part of the things that I talk about, that millionaire mindset. See, the millionaire mindset includes seven things. Here are the seven things that the millionaire mindset includes. And then we're going to move on. Number one, discipline. There are seven things in the millionaire mindset formula. Number one, discipline. Number two, consistency. Number three, patience. Number four, live on less than what you make. Number five, live on a plan, personal budget. Number six, stay out of consumer debt. Number seven, save and invest. See, that's the millionaire mindset formula. That's the formula to get yourself the financial freedom right there. And where does it start? With a brokerage account. Put money in your brokerage account. Click on that link. Click on that Moo Moo link. Open up your brokerage account. Put your money in it and follow those seven millionaire mindset formula. Just follow that. Just what I just gave you, those seven things, along with you putting your money in that and buying the magnificent seven fractional shares for the next 10 years. If you do nothing else, if you don't listen to nothing else on this channel, I just gave it to you in a nutshell, right? Let's move on. Again, get down there and click on that link, man, and get that moo moo. Get them seven fractional shares of the magnificent seven and get your wealth building your wealth transfer started. What are you waiting on? No sense to wait. Don't delay. Act today. And more big news. The website launched on Monday. The Richard Fane Millionaire Mentor website launched on Monday. And guys, I got to tell you, in the first two days, they was Wednesday, right? So I lose track of my days since I'm at, I'm at financial freedom. I just do whatever I want to do. I, sometimes I lose track of the days, guys. See, when you, get to, when you get to freedom, you don't even really keep up with the days no more. They just, every day is a weekend when you get to freedom, right? So, so we launched the website two days ago. Monday, April 15th, we launched it. And I got to tell you guys, y'all have been amazing. You guys have been amazing. We've had so many people sign up for the membership club. It, it's amazing. We, we've had a lot of people in these two days sign up for the membership club. And, and some of y'all might ask, well, Richard, what is the membership club? What, uh, I'm following you on YouTube. What are you going to do on the membership club you ain't doing on YouTube? Well, here's the deal. Go to the membership club and find out. I'm already active in the membership club. Every morning I'm going to be giving inspirational Something every morning. I'm going to be active on there every day. Right. I'm going to be dropping content on the membership club that y'all ain't going to even see on YouTube. You ain't going to see it on YouTube. See, there's a format on YouTube that I follow, guys, and I followed it for years for four years. And I ain't changing that format. But the membership club is going to be more intimate. See, on YouTube, we can't get that intimate because anybody can just pop on in here. Anybody can watch. Anybody can say what they want. Not the membership club. Membership club is exclusive. Right? You're going to make an investment in yourself. You're going to join the membership club and it's exclusive. We're going to have exclusive content you're not going to see on YouTube. You're going to have exclusive access to me that you're not going to have on YouTube. You don't really have exclusive access to me on YouTube. Anybody can watch YouTube. And, and, and my message on YouTube is tailored for YouTube. Right? My message in the membership club is going to be totally different. Totally different. And we're going to be, 
Listen, once a week, one of the major things in the membership club is once a week, we're going to have a one-on-one -on -one time. I call it fellowship, financial fellowship. Once a week for 90 minutes, we're going to have financial fellowship. And see, it's going to be only people who have made an investment in themselves and really want to get to wealth. You ain't got to worry about no trolls. You ain't got to worry about no hecklers. You ain't got to worry about these people in here trying to rip you off down in the comment section. And none of that's going to be in the membership club. None of it. So all I'm telling you is get down to the description box. Click on the second link, which is the website link. Richard Fame Millionaire Mentor website. Sign up for the, the membership club. Now, here's the deal, guys. You scratch my back, I scratch your back, right? This is the motto. Nothing in this life ain't free. To have exclusive access to me, that's not free. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm not going to lie to you. But it ain't a bunch of money. It's a little bit of money. But it's an investment in you, not in me. Because I don't even have to do this. I don't have to do this. I could just do the website and just sell digital products and be done. But I'm offering this at a really small a monthly fee for the membership. Now, you can sign up for the membership for free. But guess what? You don't get access to anything. And that's not being mean. That's just you get access here on YouTube. You can do that. The membership is going to be exclusive for people who have access to me exclusively. Plus, that's people that I know. See, here's the thing I've learned about the psychology of, of money and, and how people work. See, normally, when people can get something for free, they don't really care. They don't really take it serious. They won't make no commitment. They might show up the day. They may not show up for three months. You know what I'm saying? Normally, when you ain't got no skin in the game, you just kind of don't care. Okay, if I show up, I show up. Who is this guy? I don't really care. Blah, blah, blah. But when you put your money where your mouth is, then it gets serious. See, that's why when I do my one on one sessions, I charge for them and I charge a hefty price because I know in order for somebody to pay that price for the one on one coaching that I do through my company, not the membership stuff, but the coaching, the one on one coaching that I do, I charge a hefty price. And the reason I charge a hefty price is because I know I'm only going to get committed people. I'm not going to waste an hour of my time for somebody because I no. See, see, I charge a hefty price because I know I'm only going to get serious people. See, that's how I stay out of the weeds. That's how I only have serious people that, 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 that sign up for my one-on-one, -one, one hour, one-on-one, -on -one, where it's just you and me. See, I only get serious people to do that because I charge a lot. That way I ain't got to worry about wasting an hour of my time ever because ain't nobody who ain't serious about building wealth going to pay the fee. They're just not going to do it. <laughs> They're not going to do it. And I know that. So it keeps me out of the weeds. It keeps me only working with serious people in the one-on-one. -on -one. Now, the membership club, same thing, same principle. It's a little bit of money, $15.99 a month. That's the membership fee. But see, I know only serious people who want to get to wealth are going to pay it. So, people that ain't serious, they're not. And that's okay. I don't want them in there anyways. I want people in there who are serious about building wealth and understand the little $15.99 you're paying ain't no, <coughs> it's not going to get me to, to the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, but it will get you there because the information I got to give you is going to help get you there. It's a small price to pay, but everybody don't understand that. See, see, a lot of people worry about the pennies and they miss the dollars. That's the society we live in. We worry about these pennies over here and all these dollars are over here. We worry about this five dollar bill over here, but there's five thousand dollar bill right there. That's how we are. That's how we are. That's how we're geared. That's how the one percent have trapped us mentally. See, so get down to the description box, click on the website link and check out the digital products. If you don't do anything else, check out the digital products. I, we already got people have already invested in themselves on the digital products, guys. I'm telling you, the digital products by itself, if you don't even want to do the membership, the digital products by themselves, in my opinion, steps it up one level for you when it comes to the financial freedom thing. See, the, here's the deal about information, though. The information is only as good as your execution. 
If you're not an execution person, you just want to read a bunch of stuff and, 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 and don't do nothing with it, then, then the website is not for you. The website is for somebody that says, you know something, I watch this guy on YouTube. Listen, I, I follow the message, but I need some more. I, I need some more information that I can then execute on. That's what the website's for. So the website says, okay, you go onto the website, you see the digital products. I handpicked all of them. It's 10 of them right now, but before you know it, we're going to have 30 on there, 50 on there. I'm just handpicking them and I'm putting them on the site. Mindset, millionaire mindset. That's one of the digital products. See, you got to reprogram this, guys, and that, and that millionaire mindset ebook is going to help you reprogram this. It's going to help you reprogram because it's going to give you steps you need to take to reprogram to get yourself on the on the right wavelength. Right. So that's one of them. And then you got nine other ones from real estate investing with little or no money down all the way to credit repair, credit restoration, grow your credit score. All of that's in there. So go check it out. And then while you're in there, take a look at the, 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 the membership club. Like I said, guys, it's growing. We're adding people every single two days. Two days. We have so many people that have signed up and we're going to start the live streams, the millionaire, Richard Fame Millionaire Mentor Membership Club live streams. We're going to start in May. We're going to start them in May and we're going to do them every week. So be on the lookout for it. Be on the lookout for it. I'm so thankful for you guys that have already signed up for the membership club. Thank you. You know, I've already sent you guys out a thank you inside of the membership club. And I also sent you a thought for today and I'm gonna send you one every morning. I'm gonna send you a thought for today every single morning, 365 days a year. So when you get up, you're gonna read something positive and get this right. See, that's what that's for. That thought of the day that I'm gonna send you every morning through the membership club, guys, that's to get you ready to put on this financial suit of armor and go out every day to build wealth. So every morning you wake up, I don't care if you wake up at 3 a.m. or if you wake up at 9 a.m., first thing you should look at is that thought of the day if you're part of the membership club because that's going to set the stage for your day. That's going to put that financial armor on that you're going to need to go out and build wealth to get one step closer to that pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. So do me a favor, guys. Get down to the description box. Click on the website link. Go check out the digital products. Invest in yourself, invest in your wealth building, and then consider joining the membership club. We're going to have a bunch of fun in the membership club, guys. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. Well, all right, guys, I appreciate you. Let's rock and roll and get into this. The White House is giving away free money, or, or at least they're trying to. They're trying to give away some free money, right? It, it, we're going to talk about two things that the White House is doing where they're trying to give away some free money. The first one we're going to talk about is $6.4 billion that they're giving away to a private company. And guess where that $6.4 billion is coming from? You! It's coming from you and it's coming from me. Here's the headline. Biden administration agrees to provide $6.4 billion to Samsung for making computer chips in Texas. Now, why in the world would you give a private company like Samsung that's already a, 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 making billions of dollars a year, you're gonna give them 6.4 billion? Free money, right? Just giving Samsung free money. Here it is. Biden administration has reached an agreement to provide up to 6.4 billion in direct funding for Samsung Electronics. <laughs> no, 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 not the Biden administration, you and I. Because guess where the money comes from? Taxpayers. And guess who taxpayers are? You and me. We're giving Samsung $6.4 billion, right? Let's see what they're going to do with the $6.4 billion. To develop a computer chip manufacturing and research cluster in Texas. Now, why in the world would we be giving taxpayers money to Samsung, a private company? Now, it's a publicly traded company, but you know what I mean. It's not a government entity. It's a publicly traded company, but it's not a government entity, so they call it a private company. So you got government, private, private. Crazy, isn't it? The funding announced Monday by the Commerce Department is part of a total invested in investment in the cluster that, 
with private money is expected to exceed 40 billion. The government support comes from the CHIPS and Science Act, which President Joe Biden signed into law in 2022 with the goal of reviving the production of advanced computer chips domestically. The proposed project will propel Texas into a state-of-the-art semiconductor ecosystem. Commerce Secretary Gina, don't know the last name, said on a call with reporters, it puts us on track to hit our goal for producing 20% of the world's leading edge chips in the United States by the end of the decade. She expects the project will create at least 17,000 construction jobs and more than 4,500 manufacturing jobs. Samsung's cluster in Taylor, Texas would include two factories that would make four and two nanometer chips. Also, there would be a factory dedicated to research and development. You know something, man, here we go again. And I know it's an election year. I know it's an election year, but here we go again. And I ain't picking sides, but here we go again. We're giving these folks four point, no, $6.4 billion to a company that probably don't even need the $6.4 billion to do what? So we can develop more computer chips in the United States, which is great. And I know it's going to create some jobs. But golly, guys, you could have just put private companies together to do that. Why did you have to go take $6.4 billion of taxpayers' money to do it? I just don't get it. I don't get it. Somebody help me out with that. Why would I have to take $6.4 billion in taxpayer money? Here's the deal, guys. Last time I checked, we only collect about $4 trillion in taxes. Our fiscal budget is $7 trillion. We're $3 trillion in the hole. That we got to go out and borrow money from other countries and from the American people and other investors in order to make the shortfall. But yet and still, we'll take 6.4 and give it to Samsung, who already billionaire company. Y'all help me out with that, man. Please, somebody please help me out. Help me make sense of that. I get, I get it. I get it. We got some jobs. But, but come on. Texas ain't a poor state. Texas is a pretty rich state. Texas is a pretty dang on rich state. Pretty big state. Big oil. A lot of resources. Lone Star State. Come on, man. Come on now. Y'all help me out here. That's, 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 that's irresponsible in my opinion. I don't know all the backroom talk, but I guarantee you there's some good old boy activity going on there. That's my opinion. Y'all have to figure that one out on your own. I'm just giving you the information and I think it's, I think it's a little shady. That's my opinion. I think it's a little shady. $6.4 billion of the taxpayer's money going to a private company like Samsung. Why? So we can make more computer chips? Okay. Why couldn't you just get private enterprise together and just let them do it? Why we got to give $6.4 billion dollars of the taxpayers' money to do it. Couldn't that 6.4 billion been, go to affordable housing or, or, or something? I, come on now. And then you put it in Texas. I ain't got nothing against Texas, but Texas is a pretty rich state. Texas ain't got no problems. Not when it comes to money. No, Texas ain't got no problems. At least you could go find a state that got problems. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just, okay. Let's move on. Let's move on to the second. And this is about some of you. Where, where Biden is back at it again, giving away free money or, or, or trying to give it away. Now you got to get it approved, but he, this is what he's trying to do. Biden announces new plans to provide student debt relief for millions. He's back at it again with the student loan forgiveness thing. Let's see what he's trying to get done this time. Because the last time he tried it, eh, eh, wouldn't let him pass it. Wouldn't let it go through the last time he tried this. This is free money now because what he's trying to do is, let's, we're going to run through it, but he's, but he's trying to forgive some student loans for y'all. 
A lot of y'all got a lot of student loan debt out there. This is free money for you. Pay attention. This is free money for a lot of you folks out there that accumulated all this student loan debt and is financially choking you. Biden, election year, he's trying to get back in your good graces. So let's, let's, let's read on. President Joe Biden on Monday announced revised plans to cancel federal student debt that, along with other actions, would benefit millions during a visit to Madison, Wisconsin. See, he's on the campaign trail. He on the campaign trail, right? So, so he 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 he's 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 trying to come out with a big one, right? He knows his opponent is out there, and his opponent, from what I hear, is leading. Now, I don't know if that's true or not, because I ain't really I don't pay attention to it that much, because I don't really care who the president is, to be honest with you. Um, but I'm just telling you, his opponent is leading him in the polls. So he, he, he's coming back saying, I got to give these people something. Let's get back on this student loan thing. So this is what he's doing. Biden's new plans are aimed at canceling runaway interest for millions of borrowers, nullifying debt for those who are eligible for but not yet participating in certain forgiveness plans or programs such as those in public service who've been paying off their loans for 10 years or more, borrowers of undergraduate and graduate loans who started paying off loans at least 20 or 25 years ago, respectively, borrowers enrolled in low financial value programs and those experiencing hardships that prevent them from making loan payments. That makes sense. He's trying to help folks out that might be in hard times, right? The relief can be life-changing, Biden said in remarks in Wisconsin. He's on the campaign trail, right? You know Wisconsin, and for whatever reason, is sort of like a, you got to win that state, right? I'm not sure why, because I don't follow this political stuff that much, guys. I really don't. I, whoever get in there, get in there. As long as they don't let nobody drop a bomb on us, I'm good. Because they, they all cut from the same cloth. Biden, the other guy, the other guy. I was watching, I was listening to, I was listening to a little radio show I listened to in the morning, a, a little podcast, and they had uh, this, this guy on there named Carnell West. I think he's, a, a, he's an African-American uh, candidate, and he's going to be going independent, I believe. And they had him on there talking about why he's running for president. So you got all, you know, you got this guy, you got Biden, you got Trump, you got, you got all kind of people. Right. Running for president. Here's the thing, man. Again, none of those folks are going to save us. None of those folks are going to come to our house, sit in our living room and say, hey, this is exactly what I'm going to do for you, Richard. None of them are going to do that. Now, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. We need somebody competent in there. But guess what? We have a whole branch of government that covers that. All I'm telling you is don't get caught up in this stuff. In this election cycle, vote for whoever you want to vote for, but don't get caught up in it. Really, what changes things in your life, guys, are you. No elected official is going to change anything in your life, I promise you. When they get elected that very next morning, you're going to have the same life. That next year, while they're the first year in office, you're going to have the same life. Ain't nothing in your life going to change when none of them people get in the White House. Nothing. Unless you change it. So follow the process. Wrap yourself up in it if you want to. Ain't nothing going to change in your life, I promise you, unless you change it. None of these candidates are going to change not one thing in your life. They're all bought and paid for. Now, I don't know about this Cornell West guy. Um, I doubt he's going to win, but I, I, he's at it, and ain't nothing wrong with that. Any, that's, the, that's the beauty of this country. Anybody that wants to run for president can. Nothing wrong with that. That's the beauty of this country. Anybody can run. I can run for president. Y'all want to vote for me? I'll put my name in the hat. Richard Fane, 2024. <laughs> I'll put my name in the hat. My point is, no elected official is going to change anything in your life, guys. You got to change it. Let's keep reading here. Let's see what Biden got going here. Let's keep reading. So it says, folks, I will never stop to deliver student. Okay, here it is. The relief can be life changing, said Biden in remarks in Wisconsin. Folks, I will never stop 
to deliver student debt relief on hardworking Americans. <laughs> why do they always say that, guys? Well, why every candidate, they always talk about hardworking Americans? I mean, but, but never do anything for hardworking Americans. That's the part I don't understand. Every one of them, watch now, every debate you watch, every time you see them, they're going to always throw that little tagline in there. Everything I'm doing is for hardworking Americans. And then as soon as they get in office, you barely hear them say anything about hardworking Americans. But everything I'm doing, everything I do, is going to be for hard. Well, I tell you what, if you want to do something, eliminate this wealth gap. How about you eliminate the wealth gap? How about you even out the playing field when it comes to this wealth gap in this country? How about you do that? How about you do that? You know, none of them do it though. So that's why I'm telling you, put whoever you want to put in there, none of them do it. All just fluff and here go Biden. And again, I'm not picking sides. I, I, like I told y'all guys, I don't have a dog in the fight. I'm just telling you, I don't have a dog in the fight. So I'm not picking sides. I ain't trying to pick no sides of no candidates. Richard Fain does not have a dog in the fight. And y'all know what I mean by that. I don't have a dog in the fight. So I'm just telling you what my personal opinion is. You do whatever you feel like you need to do. I don't care who you vote for. Because see, I understand I've been around long enough. None of them cats, no matter which one get in there, they're not going to change anything in your life. Now, you may think they will, but they're not. I don't been around long enough to understand that. I don't been through enough cycles, enough presidents to understand that. None of them have done anything that changed anything in my life. None of them. I and God has did everything in my life. No, no presidential candidate. Me and God. Mostly God. That's it. A little bit from me, a lot from God. But none of these presidential candidates ain't done nothing for me. Not one of them. Not one of them. So you believe what you want to believe, but let's keep reading. This relief can be life-changing, Biden said in remarks in Wisconsin. Folks, I will never stop to deliver <laughs> this guy. I will never stop. I'm going to make sure I deliver student loan forgiveness. Okay. Okay. We got you. We got you. We got you. And it's only in the interest of America that we do it. Now, see how good that sounds when it's a, a, an election year? It, you know, these, these guys, man, they never cease to amaze me that the, the stuff they come out with when it's time for the election. It's, 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 it's interesting to me. Again, it's for the good of our economy that's growing stronger and stronger, and it is. Here we go again with this stronger and stronger economy. Whose economy? Which economy is he talking about? Because we got two. Now, is he talking about the 1% economy that's <laughs> excellent, doing great, hitting all-time highs, but people selling stock, billionaires are selling stock. I mean, is he talking about that economy or is he talking about this economy down here where we're, we're living paycheck to paycheck and ain't got no money in retirement savings? Is he talking about the, 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 the cesspool economy that, that you know, former President Trump called it, the cesspool economy? Is he talking about the cesspool economy or is he talking about this, 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 this really, really good economy up here? Because we got two. I just need him to figure out which one he's talking about here because we got two. I think he's talking about the 1% economy because he can't be talking about this economy down here where people are living paycheck to paycheck, where people are living in high interest rate credit card debt, where people don't have an emergency fund, where, where 150 million Americans don't have retirement savings. He can't be talking about that economy, is he? That, that's not the strong economy he's talking about, is he? I don't know. Y'all tell me. I, 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 I think he's talking about this one up here. It got to be. Can't be talking about this economy down here, this bust economy. Got to be talking about the boom economy. Because the bust economy, people ain't living that good. See, but these are the same hardworking Americans down here in this bust economy who ain't living that good. But yet and still, you'll get $6.4 billion to uh, Samsung Electronics. Okay. All right, let me keep moving. By freeing millions of Americans from this crushing debt. You know something? We got almost... And they may give it give us the updated number here, but I think the last time I looked at it, we had almost one point. I think it was almost one point six trillion dollars in, in in student loan debt. 
by freeing millions of Americans from this crushing debt. It means they can finally get on with their lives. Do you really think by you paying off somebody's student loan debt, that's going to change their mindset with money? It's not. It's not. I guarantee you right now, you can go pay off someone's student loan debt, and I guarantee you, if they don't got the right behavior with money, they'll be in debt some other area of their financial life, whether it be with credit card. Then what's next? We're going to pay off the credit card debt? And I'm not saying you shouldn't, I'm not saying that he shouldn't want to forgive student loans or whatever. I'm just telling you, you're not fixing the real problem. You're not. You bailing somebody out of all this debt they put themselves in is not fixing their financial problem. It's not. But feel free. But it's not fixing their problem. By freeing millions of Americans from this crushing debt. What about the credit card debt? That's $1.3 trillion. What about this uh, uh, car loan debt, which is a couple trillion? How about freeing them up from that? How about putting some uh, retirement savings in their pot of gold at the end of the rainbow? How about that? I'm telling you, it's not going to change anything. By freeing... Millions of Americans from this crushing debt, it, it means they can finally get on with their lives instead of their lives being put on hold. No, student loan debt ain't the reason their lives are on hold. The reason their lives are on hold is because they got a bad behavior with money and they're buying crap they don't need. That's what a financial life is on hold. Student loan debt is just a symptom. It ain't the problem. It's a symptom. See, credit card debt is a symptom. Student loan debt is a symptom. Living paycheck to paycheck is a symptom. These are all symptoms. It's not a problem. And guess what? You can put out the symptoms, but if you don't correct that problem, guess what's going to happen with them symptoms? They come right back. So I can go ahead and, you know, cover up the symptoms, but if I don't solve the problem, the symptoms come back at some point. And that's been our problem in this country. We only want to help people with the symptoms. We don't want to help them fix the problem. The problem is they got a bad behavior with money. They got a raggedy behavior with money. That's the problem. The symptom is the credit card debt. The symptom is the student loan debt. The symptom is the high interest rate car loan debt. That's the symptom. It's not the problem. You got to fix the problem, guys, if you want to change anything in your life. This guy right here ain't got nothing against him, but he's trying to fix nothing. He is only trying to do what? Treat the symptoms. He is not trying to cure the problem. Just giving it to you real. Whether you like it or not, it's my opinion. He is trying to treat the symptoms. He is not prepared to cure the problem. Right. So let's keep moving. It means they can finally get on with their lives. Instead of their lives being put on hold, the administration new plan in combination with previous actions it has taken would provide student debt relief to more than 30 million Americans. The White House said the administration's actions taken together will eliminate accrued interest for 23 million borrowers. Cancel the full amount of student debt for more than 4 million borrowers and provide at least 5,000 in debt relief to more than 10 million others. How is that going to solve anything? That's just kicking the can down the road. You're not going to solve these people's real problem. Their real problem is, is they're not managing their money properly. They're making bad financial decisions. See, it's a bad financial decision if I spend, I don't know, I borrow $60,000 for student loan debt and I get out of college and I'm making $35,000 a year. I, I don't spend, I, 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 I borrow 60, 70, $80,000 worth of debt and I get out of college and I'm making $40,000 a year. Guys, we just, that's just flip-flop. It's one thing if I spent $60,000 in student loan debt and I'm getting out making 
150 grand a year and I can just knock that thing out in a couple years and I move on with my life. The problem is you got these people running up all this student loan debt. They're getting out of college. They're they not making any money. They're making 30, 40, 50 thousand dollars a year, but they got 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 thousand dollars in credit. I mean, student loan debt. That's a problem. That's a problem with this. You, you, you can throw all the, the debt forgiveness that all you want at them. You better try to teach them how to change their behavior with money. That's the program you should be rolling out. Before we, before we forgive your student loans, you're going through this program. You're going to go through this change your mindset program. You're going to go through this change your raggedy behavior with money program. You got to sign up for the raggedy behavior change program before you get your student loans forgiven. Period. That's the program they need to be coming out with. Uh, uh, sign up for the change your raggedy behavior with money and you got to pass the course and we're going to test you to make sure you don't change your raggedy behavior before we pay your student loans off. That's what I would do if I was the one in, in charge of the, the plan. Okay, new plans are the administration's latest efforts to provide relief to borrowers of federal student loans. So y'all out there with private student loans, you're stuck like Chuck. This is only federal student loans, not your private student loans. They ain't forgiving nothing. I promise you that. I promise you them private student loans, the people ain't forgiving that. No, these are federal. So y'all with the, oh, well, I got private. Do I count? Nope. Just 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 federal. So let's get that straight. So the new plan, the new the new plans are the administration's latest efforts to provide relief to borrowers with federal student loans, not private. After the Supreme Court struck down Biden's original plan to cancel up to 20,000 in debt for about 43 million eligible borrowers. Supreme Court Supreme Court struck him down. You know why? Because the Supreme Court is leaning what? It's leaning right right now. It's leaning right. And, and when you lean right, they ain't interested in giving y'all nothing free. Not if you're leaning right. They ain't interested in giving you nothing free. So the Supreme Court was like, eh, we ain't interested in that. You're trying to, you're trying to treat the, 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 the symptom. You're, you're not trying to cure the problem. That's basically what the Supreme Court told him. You're trying to treat the symptom, you're not trying to cure the problem. And they struck it down. Biden acknowledged the high court's ruling and the opposition from Republicans. <laughs> the old Democrats and Republicans, boy, they at it again. Biden acknowledged the high court's ruling and the opposition from Republicans in his remarks Monday, saying they forced his administration to find alternative paths to reduce student debt. The new plans are also part of the administration's efforts to address the disproportionate burden of student debt that black, Latino, and other borrowers from vulnerable communities face. Well, just as a little FYI, guys, that, that they don't that, that those groups he just mentioned are not the groups that have the most student loan debt. <laughs> so think of throwing that little sound bite in there to get you some brownie points, but yeah, black, Latino, and others are a minority. They do not have the most student loan debt. Let's get that straight. So guess what? You just threw that in as a little sound bite, but it was good though. I, I liked it. You, you, you get that vote too. I got you. I got you, Biden. I, I see what you're doing. I see what you're trying to throw in right there because you know black folks and Latino folks ain't got the, the, the most. They ain't got. Listen, listen, just like everything runs in this country, you have the majority and then you have the minority. The majority has the most student loan debt, right? The minority doesn't. Now, they got student loan debt, too, but it's, a, it's smaller than the majority. So who, who wins? Does everybody win? I don't think so. I think no one wins if you got a raggedy behavior with money. I think if you're forgiving student loan debt for people who have, who, 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 who have, 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 it's one thing if someone says, you know something, I got, I'm debt free other than my student loan debt and I'm struggling, but I'm debt free. I get it. But I guarantee you, I guarantee you guys, 
if you go take a look at someone's financial statement, go look at their assets and liabilities before you forgive their student loan debt. I guarantee you they got credit card debt. I guarantee you some of them have high interest rate car loan debts. I guarantee it's other debt on there is what I'm saying, guys. It ain't just a student loan debt. It's other debt on there. So you forgiving the, the student loan debt still haven't reprogrammed them, right? Still haven't pre re reprogrammed them. <laughs> the new plans are also part of the administration's effort to address the disproportionate burden of student debt that black, Latino, and other borrowers from vulnerable communities face. Okay. Vice President Kamala Harris was traveling to Philadelphia. Second gentleman, Doug, I'm not sure, I guess that's a husband, to Phoenix and Education Secretary Miguel Con Cardona to New York to highlight the administration's new plans and meet with borrowers who have benefited from the actions that have taken student debt relief. During a press call Sunday, Cardona said the revised plans for student debt relief are the result of a new rulemaking process designed to provide borrowers with relief under the Higher Education Act. All right, guys. You know, here's the deal. I never really told y'all. In my opinion, most of the people uh, who, who have the student loan debt, um, they have a behavior issue with money. Now, don't don't get me wrong. There are some people got student loan debt that that is, you know, based on their income. They got this high level of debt. But normally the student loan debt guy, especially if it's federal debt and it's and it's and it's and it's all consolidated, it, it's normally spread out over like 20, 25 year amortization. That's normally, it's, it, it's, and it's normally a favorable interest rate. So it's not like the student loan debt itself has this $5,000 a month payment and you only making $4,000. You know, it, 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 no. It, it's normally amortized over, I'm talking about federal student loan debt. I don't know about private student loan debt. I'm talking about federal Student loan debt is normally has like a payment plan. It's normally spread out over like 20, 25 years. And, and normally, what? Three, four, five percent interest rate maybe over 20, 25 years? And what's the average student loan debt? Anybody know the average student loan debt out there? Let me look on the one trillion dollar research lab. What is the average student loan debt in America? See how you just go to the one trillion dollar research lab? Oh, 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 okay. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Among all borrowers, the average student loan debt in 2023 was $38,000. 53% of federal student loans owe $20,000 or less. So, I mean, you take $38,000, you amortize it over 15 or 20 years, Let's say a 4% interest rate. I mean, how much money could that be monthly? Three, four hundred dollars? See, this whole thing with this student loan stuff is just a smoke screen, man, in my opinion. What, three, four, five hundred dollars maybe? Like I said, this is federal though. I don't know about this private stuff, but federal average, average is 38,000. Average borrower, average student loan debt in 2023 was $38,000. And I'm pretty sure it's amortized. And it says the Federal Reserve reports that the median student loan debt for all borrowers in 22 was 20,000 to 24,000. So we're not talking about hundreds of thousands of dollars here. Not in most cases. We're talking about, yeah, it's still sizable debt, but it's different than car loan debt. It's different than credit card debt. See, with student loans, if they're federal student loans, it normally if you consolidate them, they amortize them over 10, 15, 20 years. So the payment is very small. So again, man, I'm more into, see, I'm more into, let's come up with some programs that help people get a better relationship with money, help people manage their money better. Before we forgive anything, they got to go through that program. They got to go through a, a program that, that teaches them how to manage their money better, how to teach them to build wealth, how to teach them to delay gratification, 
how to teach them to follow the millionaire mindset formula before you forgive anything. Because I tell you, you do not do that. You're only treating the symptom. The debt is the symptom. It's not the problem. Their mentality with money is the problem. But we don't want to teach that. Why? Because our whole economy is predicated on us being financially illiterate. Our whole financial system, the whole economy is predicated on us being financially illiterate. It is. The whole thing would crumble like a house of cards if too many people figured that out. They don't want that. So the Biden administration, whatever administration, they're not going to treat the problem. They're going to treat the symptom because they don't really want to change the problem because it affects the economy. And then ultimately it affects the one percent. Right. Whether you agree with that or not, I gave it to you like I needed to give it to you. So you disagree. That's OK. It's just an opinion channel. It's not a convince you channel. So if you disagree, that's OK. I'm OK with that. No problem with that. But I'm but I'm tired of, the, you know, the, these people getting in in these in these prominent positions in our government. And then they come out with all of this crap that don't fix nothing. It makes it worse. You forgiving thirty eight thousand dollars of student loan debt ain't fixing the problem when the people over here got high interest rate credit card debt. They got car loan debt. They got mortgage debt. They got X, Y, Z debt. A lot of people out here living paycheck to paycheck. Can't get through the week without going to a, a payday loan place. Can't get through the week. You go into some of these, these, these disadvantaged communities across the United States. You go into these disadvantaged communities. These people don't have the basic banking accounts. They, they don't even, none. How about going to those communities and start setting up shop and, and, and making sure if people are going to get federal assistance, they go through change your mindset program. Change your mindset with behavior program. You got to go through it or you don't get no money. Period. You don't go through this, you don't get no money. If we don't do that, we're not going to change the fundamental problem in this country, which is financial illiteracy. That's really what it is. I don't care. I don't care where you live, how much you make. It, 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 it touches everybody. You can make a million dollars a year and still be financially illiterate. You can. Or you can make $10,000 a year and be financially illiterate. It doesn't matter. We got to change this behavior in our country if we're ever going to grow and get to where we want to get to. And these candidates ain't interested in that. This is what I keep telling y'all. These folks ain't interested in that. They're not interested in it. None of them. I don't care who you're voting for. They ain't interested in it. Right? And like I said, you know, I don't have a dog in the fight. Right? I don't have a dog in the fight. I'm just about financial freedom for everybody. I don't have a dog in the fight. You have one in the fight. Hey, man, more power to you. I don't have one in the fight. Let's talk about the, 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 the salary a single person needs to live comfortably in the United States. I read this article and it talked about a single person will need to earn over six figures to live comfortably in the most expensive U.S. states. But here's the deal, guys. I don't think it got anything to do with no most expensive U.S. states. I think you're going to need to up your income no matter where you live. Now, I also believe doesn't matter what you make, it's what you keep, right? So if I'm making $50,000 a year, could I build wealth? Absolutely. What do I got to do to build wealth if I'm making less than $50,000 a year? Well, you got to live on less than $50,000 a year. That's one of the millionaire mindset formula principles. You, you got to live on less than what you make, right? So they're saying these people got to make six figures. 
And they're saying comfortably it's defined as a monthly income needed to cover 50, 30, 20 budget, which allocates 50% of your earnings for your necessities, like housing and utilities. 30% for discretionary spending. That's where we're wrong. See, that's where we, that's the trap. That's the trap. That's the trap. That's the trap right there. I'm rocking with you with the 50% of your necessities to cover your, your, your basics. But the trap is 30% on your discretionary spending. That basically means wants. I don't believe in that. And then 20% for saving and investments. Now, I can, I can rock with this. And this is the way I do 50, 30, 20. 50% 50 is your basics. 50% of your salary goes to your basics. I'm talking about your basics, your needs. 30% goes to what? Paying off any high interest rate credit card debt, any consumer debt. 30% of that money goes to pay off consumer debt. Not, oh, I'm going to take this 30% and go get my nails done, and, and that's my discretion. I'm going to go uh, buy me some Gucci flip-flops. Oh, I'm going to take that 30% and, and, and I'm going to go, um, uh, I'm going to go take a trip to the Bahamas. No, you take 50% of your income, guys. This is how you get yourself in a position to be ready to build wealth and do it long term. You take 50% of your income. You take care of your necessities. What do I mean by necessities? Shelter, transportation, right? Food. Clothing, insurance, utilities, your basics. 50% basics, 30% pay off debt, 20% save and invest. Well, there's no, there's no money in for me to have a good time. I mean, okay, you want to have a good time or you want to be broke for the rest of your life and work for somebody for the rest of your life? You tell me. Me, personally, I'll have a good time when I get to financial freedom then I'll have a good time. Right now, I'm gonna have a good time without spending money stupidly. I can still have a good time without spending 30% of my money on crap. I can still have a good time in life. I can do things that don't require me to pay no money. How about that? How about take a walk? How about go out and play with the kids in the backyard? Teach them something. How about go to your local thing and get you some arts and crafts? and teach them something at home. Take them to the park and let them walk the dog. Teach them something. You buying them an Xbox, you buying them a PS5, you buying them the latest Michael Jordan tennis shoes ain't doing nothing for them. Nothing. Ain't doing nothing for them. But teaching them I should value things over freedom. Just saying, guys. So, 50% necessities. 30% pay off debt, 20% save and invest. Save part would be the three to six month emergency fund, right? And then the invest part, y'all already know, wealth transfer blueprint. That's where the rubber meets the road. And guess what I want to do though? Here's, here's, the, here's, here's how I want to build this thing up to 50-50, right? Here's, here's, here, here's how I build it up. So I, so I take, I take the 50% and I always, that's my living expenses, but I'm basic though. I'm basic. Ain't no, ain't no splurging. Ain't no highfalutin living. Ain't no, ain't no, uh, three, four, $5,000 trips. None of that. Basics. Now this 30% that I'm, that I'm paying off debt at some point, I'm going to pay that, that debt going to be paid off. Because guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to stack rank the credit card debt, right? I'm going to stack rank the debt, credit card debt from the highest interest rate to the lowest. And I'm going to knock them out one at a time. 30%. Boom. Get that out of the way. I'm going to take them car loans and I'm going to look at the car and say, okay, what's the car payment? Is it more than 10% of my take-home salary? If it's not, I just pay it off normal amortization. If it's more than 10% of my take-home pay, I concentrate all of that 30% on paying off the car or I sell the car. In my opinion, listen, 
If you got seven, $800 a month payments, I'd sell the car and just downsize to something that I don't have that. That's what I would do, but that's how radical I would get. But some of y'all ain't gonna get that radical. So what you do, you pay the credit card debt off first with the 30%, then you jump on the next highest interest rate loan, whether that be a car loan or personal loan, you knock that out. You knock out all the consumer debt. I'm not telling you to pay your mortgage off. I don't think that makes no sense in my opinion. It's just my opinion. I wouldn't pay off the mortgage. I would just take out the consumer debt with the 30%. Now, once I've taken out all the consumer debt with the 30%, then I take the 30% and I do what? I put it in the investment bucket. So I go 50, 30, 20, 50, pay off all the debt, and then I go 50. So I go 50, 30, 20, then I go 50, 50, because all the debt's gone, except the mortgage. I pay off all the debt except the mortgage. That's what I do. And 50-50 is how I roll for the next 10 years, 20, whatever it takes. That's how I roll. Necessities and investing. Necessities and investing. I've eliminated the debt with the 30%. That's 50-30-20, guys. That's a good plan. All this 50-30, oh, that's for your discretion? Forget that crap. Ain't no discretion. Discretion when I get to the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Then I get some discretion. Then I have some fun. Yeah, all the rest of that, nah, nah, won't do it. Can't do it. Can't do it, won't do it. Won't do it, can't do it. Because see, here's the thing. We only have a narrow window. Most of us, our earning years are probably early 30s to around 50. Like 30 to 50, guys, is your maximum earning years for most Americans. Now, some of us get a late bloom like I did. My maximum earning years came after 50 years old. Even though I made good money from probably 35 to 50, I made good money in banking. But, but by my income went to the next level at 50. Why? Because I had a high income skill set that I used to solve problems for people. Everybody don't have that skill set. Everybody won't do that. So most of us, your maximum earning years are like 30 years old or 50. So between that block, you should be really doing everything you can to be 50-50. So maybe you're 30 or 32 and you've accumulated a little bit of debt. So maybe you start out 50, 30, 20. But ultimately, you want to end up 50-50. If you're 50 years old and you find yourself in a situation where you're in debt, then you do the same thing. 50, 30, 20. If you're 20 years old, what do you do and you haven't accumulated any debt? 50, 50. See, here's the thing. If I got debt, I go 50, 30, 20. If I have no debt other than my mortgage, I go 50, 50 until I get to the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. I keep telling y'all, you got to give up something in the beginning to get everything you want in the end. Period. End of conversation. There is no other option for 99% of us. That's the option. That's what you got to get your mind comfortable with. That's why it's important that you change your behavior with money. Because you'll never get that concept if you don't. Because you're going to be stuck on, oh golly, I, I, I want to do something special for myself. I worked all week. You mean I put in 10 hours of overtime. I need, I need a break. You're supposed to do that. It's your job. That's how you take care of yourself. You want to get patted on the back because you went to work and take care of you? I don't know what's going on with us in this world. We want to get congratulated because I went to work to take care of me. I want somebody to congratulate me for that. <laughs> I want to congratulate myself for that. Richard, congratulations. You woke up this morning and you did a live stream. Congratulations, you're, you're, you're the best. You're, you're a champ. Thank you. Go get, 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 give yourself a donut. You deserve a donut today. Come on, man, this is ridiculous. You don't get patted on the back for something you're supposed to do. You don't get patted on the back, guys, for what you're supposed to do. You get patted on the back for extraordinary stuff, not stuff you're supposed to do. My goodness, what? 
everything in this everything in this country now all of a sudden everybody wants to get patted on the back because they got up and they got up this morning and worked out. Oh, I got up and worked out this morning. Uh, let me get on Instagram and tell everybody I worked out this morning so I can get some likes and they can tell me congratulations. You. This is what we. This is what we do now. This is what we do. This is what we do. We want congratulations for doing stuff that we're supposed to do. I mean, come on. Come on. We're supposed to get up and make a living and take care of ourselves and our family. That's a, that's a, we're supposed to do that. Give yourself a pat on the back when you get to the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Then pat yourself on the back. I don't need no pats on the back until I get to the bag, until I get to that pot of gold. And I ain't got to work no more. I get to get off the hamster wheel. I get to get out of the rat race. That's when I celebrate. I don't celebrate because I went to work every day this week. <laughs> Boy, I tell you, we are something else in this country. We are something else. We get on Instagram for the littlest thing. We want congratulations for the littlest thing we do. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, I put this picture frame on the wall and... And, and, I, and it's, 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 it's hanging correctly, and, 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 I, and I did it all by myself. Uh, somebody tell me, give, somebody give me a heart. Somebody give me a, a, a job well done. I mean, come on, man. So my point is 50, 30, 20. Right? That's, the, that's it. That's, let's incorporate that. Let's incorporate that in the millionaire mindset formula. Okay? Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's incorporate that, the 50, 30, 20, in the, the millionaire mindset formula. So let's, let's recap for all you late joiners. We got a millionaire mindset formula that we're going to follow. We're going to rock with this on this channel, and we're going to rock with it in the membership club, right? We're going to rock with it both places. So, so this is what you're going to hear from me going forward is the millionaire Mindset formula. Now, you got seven things in the formula plus the 50, the 50, 30, 20. That's being added to the formula. So if anybody says, hey, Richard, how do you build wealth? Here you go. You got to get all this stuff right first before we talk about anything to invest in. You just do. Because guess what? If you don't get this right, you're going to quit investing. You're not going to be here for the long haul. So why waste your time? Keep your money in your money market account. Keep it in your high yield savings account. Keep it in an empty coffee can in the back of your kitchen cabinets. Keep it under your mattress. Keep it in your safe. Wherever you keep it at. Right? Wherever you keep it at. Because if you're not willing to change the way you think, you're not going to get the freedom. It's not going to happen. So the millionaire mindset formula is going to be those three financial behaviors. They're going to be four financial principles and the 50, 30, 20 budgeting rule. That's what it's called, the 50, 30, 20 budgeting rule and the 50, 50 budgeting rule. You got to accomplish the 50, 30, 20 first, then you get to the 50, 50. That's going to be the millionaire mindset formula before you can get to doing anything big boy style from an investment standpoint. Oh, I got $25,000 in high interest rate credit card debt, but I want to buy the video. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? I would concentrate on getting that $25,000 thousand dollars worth of credit card debt that's probably at a 22 percent interest rate compounding daily i'd probably want to get that paid off before i try to invest too much in the video right so so we got to put it in the right perspective i'm all for investing but i'm all for investing at the right time i'm trying to retire 22 percent compounded daily interest on this seven or eight, 10, 12, 20,000 in credit card debt. Now, some of that is going to require us in this millionaire mindset formula. Some of that's going to require us to go out and make more income, whether we want to or not. Some of us are going to have to go make more income, whether we want to or not. 
Because it's not about what we want to do. It's about what we have to do. That's part of the millionaire mindset formula is doing things that we have to do financially, even if we don't want to do them. What is that a part of? That's part of the three financial behaviors. That's what discipline is. Discipline is doing something I don't want to do. But I do it anyways because I want the positive result. So I do it. I don't want to do it. I don't want to get up every single morning and walk four miles. But I do it because I want the result it provides. I don't want to take my money and not enjoy myself. I'm in my 20s. I'm in my 30s. These are the best years of my life. No, your best years of your life is when you get the freedom. Then you get the best years of your life. So I do what I got to do until I can afford to do what I want to do. That's how it works. That's how it works. So the millionaire mindset formula is what we need to follow. That's what I'm going to hammer, 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 hammer. Because I know if we can get that right, no stopping us, right? There's no stopping us. I don't care what Biden does. I don't care what any of these other guys do. Don't care. What I care about is what I can control. What I care about is, and what, what, what can I control? Every single day, what can I control? My effort and my attitude. That's it. That's all I can control in this life is my effort and my attitude. I can't control other people. I can't control if it's going to rain or the sun going to come out. I can't control if some natural disaster happens. I can't control if I'm walking down the street and somebody hit me in the head with a golf ball like they almost did this morning when I was on my walk. I can't control that. I can't control none of that. What I can control is my effort and my attitude. I can control that. Let's, let's just control that. Let's, try to, let's stop trying to control what, what, what the people doing outside of us. Let's control our attitude and our effort. Let's just focus on that today and tomorrow. Let, let's focus on being better tomorrow than we were today. Let's just focus on that. If we can just get better at that, if we can be more consistent at that, your whole life will change. Let's try not to make excuses. Let's just take ownership. Okay, I'm in debt. It's my fault. I'm going to get out of it. Let's, let, let, let's focus on the solution, not the problem. Right? So all I'm asking you guys is to consider what I've talked to you about today. We know the White House is going to do whatever the White House needs to do. But that ain't just Joe Biden. That's, that's anybody in there, guys. I don't care who it is. It could be your favorite guy, your favorite gal. The office is bigger than them. They don't have any control over what they do in that seat. There are the 1% that control all of that. They're just a talking head. That's all they are. I mean, he can't even get this thing approved if he wanted to because the Supreme Court probably ain't going to approve it. <laughs> they didn't approve the first plan. You think they're going to approve this one too? No. So they're not. They're not going to approve it. But I, I, I applaud him for trying. I applaud him for trying. The Republicans will never go for this. Ever. Just like if they had something, the, the Democrats would never go for it. So all I'm telling you is focus on you, control what you can control, get your financial life in order and get to your pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. That's the only way you protect yourself. All right. That's the only way you protect yourself. Do me a huge favor. If you don't mind, guys, I need you to get down to the description box. I need you to click on that Instagram link. Follow me on Instagram. Got a lot of cool stuff happening over there on Instagram. Would love your support. And then send me a DM just to say, hey, Richard, I'm rocking with you. Do me that big favor. That's one solid you can do me 
for the content here on the YouTube channel that I'm putting out every single day, 365 days a year, ain't no stop. 10 years. I'm grinding every day, 365 days a year. Don't stop, won't stop. Don't stop, won't stop. If you appreciate that grind, what I need you to do for me, number one, lock it in with a thumbs up before you get out of here. And then I need you to go over to the Instagram page, link down in the description box and follow me on Instagram. Let's get that page back up to like we had our old page. Our old page, we had almost 90,000 people on it. And then they just shut it down. But that's life. So I started a new one. And I said, you know something? I'm going to build that one to 90,000 or more followers. And it starts with you guys rocking with me. So if you'll do me that solid, get down to the description box, click on that Instagram link, Richard Fane Millionaire Mentor, and give me a follow. I really appreciate it. And then drop me a DM to say, I'm rocking with you. I appreciate y'all for that. Here's another thing I need you to do, guys, for you serious people. If y'all ain't serious about building wealth, don't do it. But if you're serious about building wealth, I need you to get down to the description box and click on that Moomoo Moo link and go ahead and open your Moomoo Moo today. Don't delay. Open it today and get yourself seven fractional shares of the Magnificent Seven. Seven of the largest companies in the world are in the Magnificent Seven. Seven of the largest companies in the world headed by Microsoft, Apple, and NVIDIA. Those are the three largest companies by market cap in the world. Microsoft is a 3.2, almost $3.3 trillion company, followed by Apple at about $2.8 trillion. And at $2.2, $2.3 is NVIDIA. Those are your three big boy heavyweights. And you can get fractional shares of the Magnificent Seven when you sign up for Moo Moo. So get down to the description box, sign up for Moo Moo, put $100 in, and be ready to deploy that $100 into more assets. Could be fractional shares of the Magnificent Seven. You can buy fractional shares of the Magnificent Seven with as little as $5 on the Moo Moo app. Did you know that? But you can. With as little as $5, you can buy fractional shares. So get down in that description box, Click on that Moomoo Moo link, open up your Moomoo Moo account today, go get that free stock, go get that free money. Last thing, I got to get you guys to get down to the description box, click on the website. It, we launched it on Monday. It's rocking and rolling, guys. I looked at my emails this morning. We had, we had several more purchases from the, uh, the, the digital products. We just keep getting purchases from the digital products because people are starting to understand and realize that the digital products were handpicked by me and they're the real deal. They're not meant to hold your hand and, and, and skip you down the yellow brick road to, see, to take you to the Wizard of Oz. They're not there for that. They're there for you to pour yourself into and follow what it tells you to do and execute. It forces you to execute. And I know a lot of us don't want to execute. We don't want to be forced. We want to be handheld. Well, let me skip you down the yellow brick road to see the Wizard of Oz. And then we're going to pull the curtain back. And the Wizard of Oz is going to be there. And he's going to tap you on the shoulder with his wand. And all of a sudden, you're going to be a millionaire. That's what we want. Let's get me down the road. I want to go see the, the Wizard of Oz. And I want to get behind that curtain so he can tap me three times. And then I'm going to be a wealthy person. That's just a, a story, man. That ain't real life. That's make-believe. The real world is, is you're going to have to get information, dissect that information, take out what you need, put it in your filter system, and then activate yourself. That's what, that's what you're going to do. That's what you're going to do. That's what you're going to have to do, guys. So get down in the description box, click on that, Website link to a Richard Fame Millionaire Mentor website. Check out the digital products. Sign up for the membership club. Sign up for the membership club. It's a paid membership, guys. It's $15.99. It's a little bit of money. But what you're going to get, guys, you can get a lot of bang for that $15.99, trust me. Because we're going to be doing stuff in the membership club we're not doing on YouTube. Right? We're going to be doing stuff in the membership club that we're not doing on YouTube. Some of this stuff, I do the stuff I do on YouTube for a reason. 
It's a proven formula. I do it for a reason. The stuff I'm going to do in the membership club is going to be different. So if you want to be a part of that and you want to be a part of that select group, jump in. If not, keep doing what you're doing. <laughs> That's the good news, guys. I don't care. Do what you're doing. If, if, if $15.99 is too much for a monthly fee to be in the membership club, do what you're doing. Who cares? Keep your $15.99. I'm going to be there anyways, and I already got a ton of people that have already signed up. So we're going we, we gonna to get to this bag, whether you're there or not with us. All I can tell you is if you're doing what you're doing now and you're getting the results you need, stay with it. That's all. But understand the definition of insanity. You keep doing the same activities day in and day out, but you expect different results. Your results don't change, guys, unless you, you, you do something different on your activities. You can't do the same old raggedy activities every day and expect you're going to get to the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Uh -uh. You got to change your activities. So whatever activities you're doing, if you're getting the result you're looking for, stay with that activity. More power to you. We'll see you at the end of the rainbow. But if you're not getting the results you need and you, you, you need a change, you might want to try something different. So get down to the link. Click on the, the, the link. That, I think it's the second link down in the description box, check out the website, check out the digital products. I got 10 of them that I handpick and consider signing up for the paid membership. I ain't trying to sugarcoat nothing. I ain't trying to trick you. Yeah, it's a fear attached to it and it's a fear attached to it for a reason because I know when people pay for something, they tend to take it a little bit more seriously, right? You don't pay for nothing. You get everything for free. You ain't gonna even show up. <laughs> you ain't gonna even show up. Half of y'all ain't gonna even show up, and I know that. Guys, I've been around for a long time. I've been around 25 years doing this, working with high net worth individuals, working with business owners. I've been doing this YouTube channel full time for four years. I know my audience. I know the psychology of my audience. Y'all think I just wake up out of the bed and just do? I know who I'm talking to. And the only people that are going to change something in life is that's willing to invest in themselves. I know that. So I'm not expecting to have 700,000 people like I do on my YouTube channel in the membership group. I know that's not going to happen because I know 699,000 of y'all ain't going to invest in yourself. I already know that. That ain't no surprise to me. <laughs> I already know that because that's how our larger population is in this country. That's why 1% of the people control 99% of the wealth because they're willing to pay the price. People that ain't willing to pay the price, they stay in the 99% that controls 1% of the wealth. Whatever you want to be, you be. I'm going to run this thing no matter if we got five people in there. We're going to do it every week with five people in there. That's all in there. It's okay with me. My job is to do what? Provide information to help people get to the bag help people get to the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. That's my only mission on here. You're not going to stop that train. So you can say whatever you want to say in the comment section, or you can say whatever you want. Who cares? Who cares? I'm the one that got a YouTube channel with almost 700,000 people on it that I started at zero four years ago. What you got? What you got to hang your hat on? What you got? See, See, you got to put it in the right perspective, right? What do you got? I'm telling you guys, you, 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 you got to stop this nonsense. Always trying to tear people down. Always trying to bring people down. That old crab in a bucket mentality. That's a problem with us as a people. That's one of our main problems. We don't want to see each other do well. Why don't we want to see each other do well? Please help me with that. Why are we so hell bent on not appreciating when someone else makes it. Not appreciating when someone else is out here trying to help people. We want to tear it down. We want to complain. Oh my God, $15.99. What is that going to buy you? A Happy Meal? What is $15.99 going to buy you in this world? What are you going to go to the grocery store and get for $15.99? Please help me. Where are you going to go out to eat for $15.99? Nowhere. Nowhere. But yet and still, you willing to stay right where you're at, dead broke, not get to your financial freedom, all because of what? 
$15.99, come on, man, this is ridiculous. It's ridiculous, but it's all good. Like I said, if we got five people in there, that's who we're going to rock with. <laughs> and they're going to get everything they can get out of me. I'm going to give them 100% of richer fame. You better believe that. And I tell you what, the ones that are already on there now, they know it because I'm already corresponding with them every, I'm already corresponding. And I'm going to correspond with them every single day. And we're going to have live streams every single week, 52 weeks a year. 90 minute live streams, just us. Ain't going to be nobody from the YouTube channel coming in there. It's all going to be behind a paywall, every bit of it. So you make up your mind what you want to do. Keep your $15.99 in your pocket or you can come and join us. That's up, that's up to you. I, I don't really care. Like I said, we have five people in there. We rolling and we're going to have a good time. So thank y'all guys. I appreciate y'all rocking with me. I'm about to get out of here. It's a Wednesday about almost 12 o'clock. Actually, I'm ending the lot a little bit early today, but I got some stuff I got to do. I appreciate y'all rocking with me. Thank y'all so much for all y'all do. All of y'all that have hit that like button, appreciate you. Keep hitting it. Keep rocking with me. I'm going to keep rocking with y'all. We're going to keep on instituting this millionaire mindset formula. That's what we're going to start hanging our hat on. That's what we're going to start focusing on because I think that's the core. We got to change our behavior with money if we ever want to get to that pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, right? We already know no one is going to give us anything. We got to go out and earn it. We got to go out in this great country we live in and earn it. It's not a perfect country, but I still think it's the best place in the world to build wealth without any restrictions on you. But we have to stop depending on others to build that wealth for us. We got to depend on us. We got to get sound, solid advice. We got to dissect that advice. And then we got to activate ourselves into a position where we can execute. Everything I do on this YouTube channel, everything I'm going to do in the membership club, all comes back to execution. Giving you the tools you need to go out there and execute. My job is to give you tools. Your job is to use those tools to execute and get to wealth. That's a perfect way we should look at this thing. My job is to give information and assist you and to use those tools so that you can get to wealth. That's it. That's what we do around here. That's what we're going to continue to do. And I appreciate y'all rocking with me. Hey, man, lock it in with a thumbs up before you get out of here. I'm going to see y'all tomorrow at 1030 a.m. Eastern time with another live stream. I'm going to be putting some more content up on the YouTube channel this afternoon like I do every day. I do a live stream every day and I put up a shorter edited video every afternoon. 15 minutes, 12 minutes, 10 minutes. I do that every day, guys. 365 days a year. So I take this thing serious. And the reason I take it serious is because I love helping people. Do I have to do it? No. Do I have to do a live stream every day? No. Do I have to do an edited content video every day? No. I can just put up one live stream a week and one video a week like most other people do. But I choose not to because, see, this is my passion. This is my purpose. And I thank God for giving it to me and allowing me to be here. So, of course, I'm not going to. No, this is what I'm going to do. And I'm going to do it till the wheels fall off of it. So appreciate you. Lock it in with a thumbs up. I'm going to see you all tomorrow. Thoughts become things. If you can see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hands. You guys keep chasing your greatness. Never stop believing in yourself. Stay healthy. Get wealthy. And we're going to catch you guys tomorrow. Peace.